Armenia are a tough side to beat at home. Can this possibly be a huge dog of the day pick? Let's find out. Armenia, unbeaten in 8 of their last 10 home matches across all competitions. They scored in 9 of their last 10 home matches. Scotland, winless in their last 2 away matches and they've seen both teams to score in 3 of their last 5. Scotland won 2-0 in their only previous match against Armenia. Armenia remained bottom of Group B on goal difference following back-to-back -back away losses against Scotland 2-0 and Ukraine 3-0. The Mountaineers were second best against Ukraine with 6 shots and only 28% possession. They held out until half time before conceding 3 second half goals. Armenia have been in better home form, winning 1-0 in their last two against the Republic of Ireland and Montenegro. Mkhitaryan is still out. Scotland couldn't build on their 2-0 home win over Armenia and they fell to a 3-0 away loss against the Republic of Ireland. The Tartan army were 2-0 down after 28 minutes and they conceded a third in the second half. That result leaves Scotland winless in four of their last five in all comps. Steve Clark's side have failed to win their last two away, drawing 2-2 in Austria before the Ireland loss. Kieran Tierney and midfielders McLean, Fraser and Ryan Jack are all out. Armenia are likely to provide a tough test for an inconsistent Scotland side. They and Scotland score goals and a BTTS draw is more than likely. I got two plays on this one. We're going to go with half a unit on each. We'll go half unit both teams to score, yes. But I am actually going to go half a unit Armenia to win at 500. Why not take a shot on them? They are playing at home and they haven't been all that bad at home. And Scotland is kind of like on a down funk right now. So I'm going to go with Armenia, half a unit, at plus 500 to win this game. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your take. Taylor Fade, though, may the winner be yours. Good luck, gang. And if you are new here, do consider subscribing as I am posting picks, plays, facts, stats, and figures each and every day here. This is Trending Rabbit. Moldova will be hoping to bounce back here after the 2-4 Nations League loss in their previous game against Latvia. In that match, Moldova managed 57% possession and 15 attempts on goal with 6 on target. For Moldova, the goal scorers were Ion Nicolescu, 5th, and Nicheta Matpan, 64th. At the other end, Latvia had 15 attempts on goal with 4 of them on target. Vladislav Gutkowski's 19th and 60th, and Janis Ikoniak's 26th and 75th, scored for Latvia. Sergei Klasenko's Moldova have celebrated scoring 6 times in their prior 6 outings. At the other end, the number of goals that have been scored against them in that same time is 10. Andorra come into this match after a 2-1 Nations League win to beat Liechtenstein in their last match. In that match, Andorra had 52% possession and 17 shots on goal with 5 of them on target. For Andorra, goals were scored by Jordi Ailes, 78th, and Chus Rubio, 82th. For their opponents, Liechtenstein got 4 shots on goal with 2 of them on target. Livio Meyer, 92nd, was the scorer for Liechtenstein. A tendency of at least one team drawing a blank in games involving Andorra has been evident in recent matches. Checking on their last six games shows that this has happened six times. In those clashes, their opponents have managed a goal aggregate of four and Andorra have scored four. Head-to-head -head meetings going back to 2013 shows that Moldova have won three of these and Andorra won, with the tally of draws standing at two. Moldova are likely to have the majority of the possession and should be able to turn a few of their chances into goals. At the same time, Andorra may well find it hard getting goals, but do we see them getting enough chances to score, too? The pick here is a pretty comfortable 3-1 winning score for Moldova when all said and done. What say you? Let us know in the comments section below what your play is on this one. Thanks for watching and if you enjoy these picks, previews, facts, stats and figures, please do consider subscribing to the channel as we post picks and plays and everyday predictions in all sports. May the winner be yours and just get that cash. This is Trending Rabbit. England win regularly at Wembley. Well, they have been. And they will be desperate to move off the bottom spot in Group A. England have won 10 of their last 12 home matches. 
England, they've seen two and a half goals over in three of their last four. And they have also won nine of their last nine, sorry, eight of their last nine home matches against Hungary. Hungary, on the other hand, they've also seen both teams to score in their last two matches. And they've seen over two and a half goals in two of their last three away matches. <clears throat> England have a 16 to 6 advantage against Hungary in 25 meetings and only three draws. England remain winless in Group A following a nil-nil home draw with Italy last time out. The three Lions couldn't make their 12 shots and 60% possession count. They previously drew 1-1 in Germany and lost 1-0 in Hungary. The disappointing run leaves Gareth Southgate's side bottom of Group A and three points behind group leaders, Italy. Defender Ben White withdrew from the squad due to injury and midfielder Phil Foden is also out due to illness. Hungary bounced back from a 2-1 away loss in Italy and drew 1-1 at home against Germany on Saturday. Solt Nagy gave Hungary an early lead before Germany equalized in the first half. The two-match winless run followed an opening match win at home against England 1-0. Marco Rossi's side have found wins more difficult away and they are winless in four of their last six. First choice goalkeeper Peter Golassi is suspended. England showed improvements in their draw with Italy last time out. They can make their home advantage count against a Hungary side that is inconsistent away. So the two plays we'll go with here, we're going to go with over two and a half goals for one unit and we're going to go with half a unit. England win and both teams to score combo. So that's a full time result and both teams to score yes and that's at 270 for half a unit. So once again, over two and a half goals between England and Hungary and then on another ticket England and both teams to score yes for half a unit what say you let me know in the comment section always interested to hear your take whether you tailor fade though may the winner be yours best of luck to each and everybody get that cash take care all we'll see you in the next one this is trending rabbit two powerhouses still struggling for consistency in the nation's league Germany drawn 1-1 in their last four matches, exact scoreline of 1-1 in their last four. They've drawn their last two matches against Italy as well. Italy have drawn nil-nil in three of their last four away matches. Head-to-head, -head, Italy have a 15-9 advantage against Germany in 36 meetings with 12 draws. Germany remain winless in their opening three Group A matches after coming back from a goal down to draw 1-1 in Hungary on Saturday. They conceded on six minutes and Jonas Hoffmann equalized three minutes later. It was a fourth consecutive 1-1 draw for Hansi Flick's side, who sit third in Group A. Die Mannschaft previously recorded stalemates with England, Italy, and the Netherlands. Forward Serge Gnabry and midfielder Marco Royce remain doubtful due to injury. Goalkeeper Marc-Andre Tersturgen and defender Matthias Ginter are ruled out. Italy couldn't build on their 2-1 home win over Hungary and they drew 0-0 in England last time out. The Azzurri struggled to create with 8 shots and 40% possession. Roberto Mancini's side remained winless in 6 of their last 8 matches in all comps. Italy have also drawn 0-0 in 3 of their last 4 away matches after stalemates in Northern Ireland and Switzerland. Midfielder Nicolo Zaniolo and forwards Moise Keane and Domenico Berardi are unavailable due to injury. Germany and Italy look fatigued in their most recent matches. Both sides have been hard to beat in the Nations League and a KG 1-1 draw is predicted in München Gladbach. So the two plays we'll go with, we'll go with uh, one unit on the draw at 290 and I'll go half a unit correct score 1-1 at 600. So again one unit on the draw, half a unit 1-1 correct score. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your take. Taylor Fade, though, may the winner be yours. Good luck, gang. Go get them. Get that cash. And if you are new here, do consider subscribing as I am posting picks daily. So go get them. Good luck once I said again. And may the winner be yours. Positive vibes always. This is Training Rabbit. Netherlands defeated Wales 2-1 last week with a 94th minute winner. Are we going to see a repeat here today? The Netherlands have won 8 of their last 11 matches. They've seen both teams to score in their last 6. They've also seen over 2.5 goals in their last 5 matches. 
Memphis Depay has scored 13 goals in his last 10 international matches. Netherlands have won all nine matches played against Wales. While Wales have lost two of their last three in the Nations League, they've also seen both teams to score in seven of their last eight. Netherlands have a perfect record against Wales with nine wins from nine previous matches. A Weghorst goal in the 94th minute sealed a 2-1 win in Wales last week. Netherlands dropped their first points of the campaign when drawing 2-2 at home to Poland on Saturday. Louis van Gaal's side game from 2-0 down to level and could have won the game only for Memphis Depay to miss a 91st minute penalty. Netherlands recorded a huge win when defeating Belgium 4-1 away from home in their Nations League opener before leaving it late in a 2-1 win over Wales last week as Weghor scored in the 94th minute. Wales claimed their first point of the Nations League campaign when holding Belgium to a 1-1 draw on Saturday. Rob Page's side lost their opening two games with 2-1 defeats away to Poland and at home to the Netherlands last week. In between, there was elation for Wales as they recorded a historic 1-0 playoff win over Ukraine which booked a spot at the World Cup Finals. The Netherlands left it late to beat Wales last week. I'm thinking more of the same with a Dutch win and both teams to score. Does Memphis Depay score today after he missed that late penalty against Poland? Well, my place for this one, we're going one unit, both teams to score, yes. We're going to go half a unit, Netherlands win, and both teams to score. Not going to try on uh, Depay today, even though he'll probably score when I don't play him. But anyways, the two players we're going to go with, both teams to score, yes, and Netherlands win, and both teams to score. Those are the two. Let's go get it. What do you say? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your take. Taylor Fade, though, may the winner be yours. Good luck, gang. Go get them. This is Training Rabbit. Does Poland bounce back from that shellacking in Belgium last week where they lost 6-1? to one? Well, they are unbeaten in 17 of their last 20 home matches. They've seen both teams to score in 6 of their last 7. While Belgium have drawn their last 3 away matches, Belgium have also seen both teams to score in 9 of their last 10 matches in the Nations League. There is nothing to split these sides with 7 wins each and 6 draws from 20 previous clashes. Poland led 1-0 in the reverse fixture before suffering a meltdown, losing 6-1. Poland have a win, loss and draw from their 3 Nations League games following a 2-2 draw with the Netherlands on Saturday. Poland led 2-0 but conceded twice in the second half and escaped with a point after a late missed penalty for the Dutch. They got off to a winning start with a hard-fought 2-1 victory over Wales before conceding five times in the second half as they lost 6-1 away to Belgium last week. Lewandowski missed the game against the Netherlands on Saturday and should return for this fixture. Belgium have lacked consistency during the opening three games of this Nations League campaign. Real Martinez's side lost 4-1 at home to the Netherlands before bouncing back with a 6-1 victory over Poland last week. On Saturday, the Red Devils were held to a 1-1 draw by the previously pointless Wales. De Bruyne, Carrasco and Thomas Mounier have not traveled to Poland, joining Romelu Lukaku, Courtois and Denayer in missing this game. Belgium will make late decisions on the fitness of Boyata as well as Witzel. Belgium have drawn their last three away matches, so why not go again with another draw? Poland are tough to beat at home, and they could get a tie out of this with a goal, so BTTS is also a way to play here. we got two ways to go, and we're going to go two ways here. We're going one unit, both teams to score yes. We'll also go one unit on the draw at full-time result. And that's the two plays for this one. What say you? Let me know in the comment section what are you doing, tailing or fading though. May the winner be yours. Best of luck. And remember, bet with your head, not with your heart. But more importantly, only gamble with money you can afford to lose. Don't go crazy. You only live once. Take care. This is Training Rabbit. Finland and Bosnia have both drawn two of their last three encounters and are evenly matched. Bosnia undefeated in their last three matches in the Nations League. They've drawn two of their last three and they've drawn two of their last three matches against Finland. Finland are undefeated in six of their last eight matches in the Nations League. Finland are 2-2 two two against Bosnia with two draws in six matches. 
Bosnia are undefeated in all three Nations League matches. Petev Sai drew 1-1 with Finland's small Privlak equalizing in the 92nd minute. Bosnia won 1-0 against Romania with Privlak on target again before a 1-1 draw in Montenegro where they conceded an equalizer in the 77th minute. Finland had a positive start in the Nations League, playing their opening two games at home. Marku Konerva's side drew 1-1 against Bosnia, conceding in the 92nd minute. They then beat Montenegro 2-0, with Joel Pojampalo scoring twice in the first half. Finland lost 1-0 in Romania on Saturday, despite having 62% possession. Timo Puki has scored 35 goals in 105 internationals. Finland and Bosnia are evenly matched and have drawn their two of their last three meetings. We're going once again back to the well, back to the draw. And also, I don't see many goals being scored here. So the two players we're going to go with, we're going to go one unit under two and a half goals, half a unit, draw, full-time result. Once again, one unit under two and a half, half unit, draw, full-time result. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your take. Taylor Fade, though. May the best of luck be with each and every one out there. Honestly, it's always positive vibes here. You know where you are. And in case you don't, in case you don't have any idea who I am, I will tell you once more as I do in every single video. Guess what, guys? This is Trending Rabbit. Romania are going to be full of confidence coming into this one. They've won to nil in their last two home matches in the Nations League. And Montenegro have lost to nil in four of their last five away matches across all competitions. Romania are 2-2 two and two against Montenegro with two draws in six matches. Romania played their first two Nations League matches on the road. They lost 2-0 in Montenegro and 1-0 in Bosnia. The Tricolors returned home and beat Finland 1-0. Sicaldo hit the woodwork. Puska saw a penalty saved before Banku scored the winner. Montenegro were promoted from League C in the Nations League last season, finishing top of Group 1, which included Luxembourg, Azerbaijan, or as Kaikai Kai would say, Parmesan, and Cyprus. Radulovic's side won 2-0 against Romania to start the new campaign. Stefan Magoza and Marko Vucevic on target. The Brave Falcons lost 2-0 in Finland before a 1-1 draw against Bosnia and Herzegovina, Adam Morisic equalizing in the 77th. Romania do their best work at home, where they can beat Montenegro in this Nations League. That's the way I'm seeing this one. I'm going to go with one unit, Romania win, full-time result, and half a unit, Romania win to nil. So the two plays once again, one unit, Romania win, half unit, Romania win to nil. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your take. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Always positive vibes here on the Trending Rabbit channel. And you know who I am, because I just told you what channel you're on, but I'll tell you once more. Good luck, gang. Go get them. Get that cash. This is Trending Rabbit. Don't look now, but Ukraine have taken control in Group B with convincing back-to-back -back victories. Ukraine have won four of their last five matches across all competitions. They've won to nil in their last two matches in the Nations League. Ireland, on the other hand, have lost one nil in their last three away matches. Ukraine beat Ireland 1-0 in their only previous meeting between these two sides. Ukraine recorded a comfortable 3-0 home win over Armenia last time out. The blue and yellows moved top of Group B following a 1-0 away win against Ireland. Ukraine were in control against Armenia with 14 shots and 74% possession. Ruslan Malinovsky, Karavayev and Mikolenko seal the win with second half goals. Ireland bounced back from consecutive 1-0 losses against Ukraine and Armenia in the Nations League. The boys in green beat Scotland 3-0 at home on Saturday to move second in Group B. Alan Brown and Troy Parrott scored within 28 minutes before Obafemi added a third in the second half. Stephen Kenny's side remained poor in poor away form and they are winless in 10 of their last 13. Ukraine have winning momentum and they can build on some impressive recent performances with a home win and that's what I'm seeing here today. I'm going to go with two plays. Once again, one unit, Ukraine win and half unit, Ukraine win to nil. Repeat, Ukraine win one unit, 
and a Ukraine wind to nil for half a unit. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your takes. Till or fade, may the winner be yours. If you are new here, do consider subscribing as I am posting picks, plays, facts, stats, and figures each and every day. All for you here. All for free. Never charge like some of those other places we know of. But we're not going to throw them under the bus, even though we should. Anyways, guys, take care. As I said, good luck. May the winner be yours. Get that cash. This is training rabbit Luxembourg are going to be needing a better result here after their 2-0 loss in their previous game against Turkey in that one Luxembourg had 47% possession and 6 attempts on goal with 0 on target Turkey got 10 attempts on goal and got 6 of them on target as well as a 2-0 victory a common characteristic of more recent Luxembourg games is a high number of scores with a nil in them Taking their previous six matches leading up to this one, in five of them, both teams to score would have lost. For the Faroe Islands, they come into this meeting after a 2-1 Nations League win to beat Lithuania. In that one, Faroe Islands had 44% possession, 30, 13 shots on goal, four of them on target. Not too shabby. Faroe Islands have converted five times in the course of their last six matches. The overall goals that they have conceded during the equivalent period is nine. Head to head, the previous league game featuring these two was a Nations League match on day two, which finished with a scoreline of Faroe Islands nil, Luxembourg one. In that match, Faroe Islands had 42% possession, seven attempts on goal, three of them on target. Luxembourg, 11 shots, three of them on target, and Rodriguez getting the goal in the 74th minute. Luxembourg certainly have the ability to get amongst the goals when they play Faroe Islands, who won't find it easy scoring a goal of their own. So I'm going to go with Luxembourg win to nil as the play in this one. One unit, Luxembourg win to nil is the play in this game. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your take. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. And once again, if you are new here, do consider subscribing as I am posting plays each and every day for just about every sport that's out there only so much time in a day posting as many pics as i can with as many facts and figures as i can as well take care all we'll see you in the next one this is trending rabbit this one should be very very lopsided uh, turkey last time out won two nil against luxembourg in that one turkey had 53 percent possession 10 attempts at goal six on target goal scorers were kalnaglu and Dursen. And their opponents, Luxembourg, six attempts on goal, zero on targets. At least three goals per game were recorded in five of the past six fixtures where Turkey have been involved. Opposition teams scored seven of them, whereas Turkey amassed a tally of 15. I think that trend is going to continue here where Turkey is going to bag the goals. For Lithuania, after suffering a loss in their previous game against the Faroe Islands, of all teams, Lithuania will be hoping to turn things around here but I don't see it happening. The previous league game featuring these two was a Nations League match on day two, which was just last week, which finished scoreline of, get ready for this one, 6-0 Turkey. Don't see it being any different today. Um, I don't see Lithuania scoring a goal. If you want to be brave enough, there's two plays we're going to go with, both for one unit. Turkey went to nil. And but we're also going to go Turkey minus two and a half. Let me quickly check and see what kind of odds it is at right now. But Turkey win to nil might not even be all that great as far as price goes. But I'm going to verify it right now. Just give me a quick second here. Okay, so we have Turkey to win the game is minus 1400. So you know what, forget that, of course. Uh, uh, let's see the Asian lines. It's actually Turkey minus two and a half minus three at 2.020. Let's go with the alternative Asian handicap. We're going to go Turkey minus two and a half, which is currently at 1.775. So let's stick with that. Turkey minus two and a half is a play in this one. Uh, I'm not going to go with the uh, Winton Hill. It's uh, not paying enough. 
So we're just going to go Turkey to win at minus two and a half. So what say you? Let me know in the comments section. Always interested to hear your take. Whatever it is you do, Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck, gang. Go get them. We will see you on the flip side. This is Trending Rabbit. Well, you know Liechtenstein won't want a repeat of their last result here. 2-1 loss against Andorra. In that match, they only managed 48% possession, 4 attempts at goal, 2 of them on target. The one player to score for Liechtenstein was Mayer in the 92nd minute. But Andorra, they got 17 shots on goal with 5 on target. It's been a rare occasion in recent times where Liechtenstein have managed to hold out for a full 90 minutes. The fact is, Liechtenstein failed to prevent opponents from scoring in 5 of their last 6 matches, letting in 12 goals. Latvia go into this one following a 4-2 win against Moldova. In that one, Latvia 43% possession, 15 shots on goal for them on target. Over the course of their last 6 clashes, Latvia have helped themselves to the total of 13 goals. They've also managed to score on each one of those occasions. And during that period, they have seen four goals go against them. So this one, we're going to go with uh, an exact score. We got two plays, both for half a unit. We're going to go Latvia to win 2-1 to one as an exact score. And that's at plus 800. So again, half a unit that way. And we're also going to go Latvia to win 3-1 to one exact score at plus 1,200. Again, for half a unit. So the two plays, once again, we go with the correct score line, Latvia 2-1 at plus 800, or we'll also go Latvia 3-1 at plus 1,200. Those are the two plays in this one. What say you? Are you going to do it, tail it, fade it? What are you doing? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, best of luck to each and everybody. We will see you on the flip side. Thanks again for watching and taking the time to listen to these stats, facts, and figures. Hopefully, it's a profitable one for you as well. Take care, gang. We will see you very, very shortly. This is Training Rabbit.